Hello, it's Gem Games, and today we are going to start the weapon swap system. So yeah, let's get started. First, let's create a new struct structure called weapon slot struct. Okay, now let's open it. Let's uh, change the first variable to integer and it should be called weapon index and now let's add two more first one is ammo clip and the next one is ammo total okay let's save it now let's go to the first person character and now actually first let's go to the weapon data table and now you can just add whatever values you want here i just copied everything and changed the mesh to ak on the second one and you have to name, name this this is row one this is row two okay so after that Let's go here, let's add a variable and it should be called weapon slots. Now type we have to search for weapon weapon slot struct this one. Now we have to change it to array like this. Compile and save. Now add three weapon slots. Okay. And now we can open the one and two, and we can just add, make the first weapon index one and second weapon index two, like this. Okay, now we have to create another variable. It should be called weapon slot in. Actually, I will in use like this. And it will be type integer and single like this. Okay, compile and save. And now we can change the weapon slot and use default value to one. So the default uh, the weapon slot one is the use. Okay, compile and save. And now we actually can add a few. Um, Let's actually uh, open the project settings and let's go to the input. Let's add a action mapping. It should be called weapon slot one, for example. And now let's add a another weapon slot two. Okay, now I will change the key on the weapon slot one to one and on the two to two like this okay now we can uh, go here wherever we have the free space space um, maybe here let's add a weapon slot one key to here and actually we can add the weapon slot two also weapon slot two okay now we have both of them then we can add a new function and it should be called um, a switch weapon slot for example I will actually add these underscores here just to make it clear more clear okay switch weapon slots now we want to add a one input it should be called slot number and type integer okay now if we go back to the event graph we can add this to here to the boat both of these like this and i will actually move them a little bit closer Okay, now we have to 
weapon slot 1, the slot number should be 1, and on the weapon slot 2, the slot number should be 2, like this. Okay, now we have to go back to the switch weapon slot uh, function, and now we uh, have to create the code. First, let's add, add a branch, then we have to get the weapon slot. Okay, and now from here we have to get a reference like this. Compile and save. We have to split this. And now we actually can uh, promote this to a lo local variable like this. And I will move this a little bit further away. Okay, and now let's change the local variable name to weapon slot number okay so yeah now we have to move this to here and now we have to check if the weapon index is greater than zero so it's not empty if it's zero it's empty and then we have to check uh, if the Uh, we have to check if the weapon slot in use is equal equal to we have to get the select select node from here like this and now we want to get the weapon slot number get it to here like this and also we want to get it to here connect it like this and now if the weapon slot number which we are changing to is uh, one if we are changing changing to one then the weapon slot number should be uh, two so if we are changing to weapon slot one uh, op so option one uh, then the weapon slot in use should be two or if it's something else we cannot change okay and if it's two it should be one okay we have to just add this so it changes the value so if it's one it changes it to two and if it's two it changes it to one okay you will understand later now we have to get the and boolean we have to connect these and if these both are true then we have uh, can mm, uh, we have to set the mm, weapon slot in use to a weapon slot number like this. Okay. Now we have to get the weapon slot and set array element like this let's connect this to here the array element actually we need to compile and save now we can split this item like this okay and now we have to get the ammo clip max no 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 sorry ammo clip current here item ammo clip to ammo clip current ammo clip and ammo total current to ammo total like this and item weapon index we can actually um, actually get the weapon index from here I will actually move this little bit here so we get more the space Okay. And now this index we have to get this same select from here so we can copy it and paste it here and now we have to connect it to here. So here also it will oh it will if the 
weapon slot number is one, it will change it to two. If it's two, it will change it to one. Okay. So what it is doing, if we're changing to weapon slot one, it will change his old values to slot two. So it will change, uh, save them to here. So next time it will remember those. Okay. And now we actually have to create a new function, which should be called set weapon slot for example okay and this one uh, should also have a input called weapon slot okay and now if we go Back here, we can call this, and we can actually get this weapon slot number and connect it to there. And now we can go back to here, and we can actually promote this to a local variable again. And let's call it weapon slot number, for example. So it should be here weapon slot number, and here weapon slot number okay and now we have to get the weapon slot uh, get from it get a reference and we have to just split this and now we can get this weapon slot number you can uh, we can get it from here okay and now we have to set this weapon index to a or our weapon index to weapon index like this and then we have the ammo clip we have to get the ammo clip current from here we can connect it to there ammo total current like this ammo total like this and then we have the set weapon stats I think it was this one Okay. Okay, now it should be working somehow at least. Okay, weapon two, weapon one. But it doesn't uh, save the ammo, it always refills the ammo. And it's because on the set with weapon stats here, we uh, actually made so ammo clip max, ammo clip current. We made so it always refills the ammo. We have to uh, change this code a little bit. Okay. We actually just can. Um, I will copy this. I will maybe need it later. We have to remove remove this ammo clip current. Here, ammo total max and ammo total current. We have to remove this. Oh, sorry, like this. So we only have ammo clip max, ammo total max connected. And um, okay, so yeah, now they should be now. If we play, we should have zero ammo when we start, or we cannot lose. Okay, now we have to create a another function which should be called. Uh, Set max ammo, and I will actually move it to actually not no 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 we will not move it okay set max ammo, and it will be now we can oh copy the code that I copied from the last so ammo clip map no 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 we have to remove this so ammo clip current and now we have to get the ammo clip max okay connect it to here and then then we have the ammo total let's remove that and get the ammo total max like this and 
compile and save. Now let's add it to a to the begin play. Set weapon stats and set max ammo. Let's add it here. Compile and save. Now let's play. Now we should have in this weapon we still don't have ammo. We have to add that code later. But yeah, if we now shoot and we don't reload, we change. Let's go back. It should have the same ammo. If we reload and go, yes, it always has the same ammo. It will change us, uh, saves the ammo. Okay. And yeah, now we can actually add so the it's it adds um, the full ammo to the. Um, on the second slot, sorry, I'm my brain is not working very well today, but yeah, <laughs> let's go back here and now we have to get the uh, we have to get uh, we have to get this code from here or to these two like this set max ammo. Now we can copy those to here. And first, we actually want to check if the weapon slot get uh, a weapon slot number two. Let's split this, and weapon index is greater greater um, greater than zero. So if it's if we if our second weapon is non-existent, so it's the number zero, then we don't do anything but if it is we have to get actually the uh, weapon index from here sorry we have to change it to two string like this and then we can change it to name okay Yeah, and now from here we can actually get this again and set array element again. Element this. Now we have to compile and save and go. Oh, we can actually remove this one and we can just split this. Okay. And our row, row found, found. Now we have to mm, um, we have to get this index set it to two and this item we have to split it and item weapon index. actually continue this uh, uh, connect this to here and I will move it to here like this and then item ammo clip uh, we have to get the out ammo clip max and item ammo total to here and now I think it should work okay now we have this can now we have this if we change the ammo saves. Save if I shoot like this. Okay. Here, if I reload. Yes, everything works. So, yeah. I think this is all for today or all for this video. If you learned something new, please consider to subscribe. And yeah, hope you have a great day. And see you on the next one. Bye.